Hi, this is Dancing Rabbit and my wife Feather. Welcome to another Saturday Pagan Perspective. This week's topic is crystals, stones, and gems. I don't know too much about stones and stone magic. I've asked my wife Feather, since she is the house expert on these things, <laughs> to do this week's video. So, take it away. I'll take it away. Well, greetings. It's nice to be here. I watch Rabbit Man do this every Saturday and think, I know that. I already know that. But there's something I know that he doesn't. I've worked with stones and crystals since I was a small child when my mother took me to on a rock hunt and was t explaining energy and with stones. And I was only five or six and my first stone was a rose rock. My mother was uh, very eclectic and always taught me about nature and stones. So as I got older and started practicing in my divination, I discovered crystals and stones were my tools for transmitting. You can use stones to align yourself. They increase your energy. Stones are, and especially quartz, are very magnifying power. No stone fits every person. Just because everyone uses crystals doesn't mean that's going to work for you. You, The right stone or crystal will speak to you. All the books have this stone goes to that and that stone goes to that power. I believe that, but I truly believe there's one stone out there that will give you the energy, transmit the energy you need to attune yourself and align yourself with the universe. And that's your stone. That gives you more power and will magnify it and become whole. I happen to have hematite as one of my main stones. It grounds me. I use it for my personal power. I work with stones quite often. As you can see, I have quite an array of them that I've collected through my years. I do personal charm pouches for friends, for whatever need they have. I think stones can give you a deeper understanding and, like I said, and attune yourself. As with any tune, tool, you need to take care of your stones, cleanse them. I hold each stone in my hand and get the energy from it and give it energy. Then between a new moon and a full moon, once a year, usually around Beltane, is when I cleanse all my stones. But I'm working with them so frequently, I sometimes do it off more often. Um, I could go through every stone and tell you the color and the usage and this and that, but I don't think there's enough time to do all that. Just find your power in the stone you want. Take out your your projective hand, whichever, that left or right. If you, a stone calls you, lift it up, feel it. If it's cold or hot, you'll know which stone is right. I really truly believe that. And that will be your stone. I think you can uh, practice divination with the colors, just not the kind of stone. Orange for courage, purple stones for psychic work, green for healing, pink, pink for romance, love. It's whatever you want it to be, but they are great transmitters. Thank you for having me tonight. Till next week, peace.